Welcome back everyone, Jose Tuning One Crisis here and today we're playing some more Grand Prix World 2001. It's been a while, that's because I took a bit of a break because the semester, I mean uni, uh, the semester was finishing and I had to study a lot more and well I still kind of have to do because I'm uh, one of the classes I'm, what, um, <clears throat> I'm watching is um, key transfer and we're on the final like part of the, of the course which is all heat exchangers and E and MTU and all that kind of stuff which might end up driving me crazy but you know it is what it is I'll, I'll survive that in any case well we are back hopefully I am back for a sufficient while and I can actually finish this season last time around we got two wins, one for Panis, one for Alonso, both of them on 16 points right now. Overall, we're doing good, we're doing good. 32 points, the best everyone, anyone else has is 14 McLaren, and we're tied for first, both Panis and Alonso. Coulthard and Ralph Schumacher are tied for second with 12, so we need to be careful with them. Panis has his championship, ideally he wins another championship because French, but I will not be mad if Alonso wins the... 2005 championship. That will be perfectly fine for me. Anyway, um, look around. What um, what do I need to do around here? I think everyone here is signed up. Everyone here is signed up. Okay. Everything I need to do is just expand my commercial department. So this is uh, I I did the testing and all that stuff beforehand. The cell points have already been applied. I'll show you what I did in a moment. Uh, the research I'm going to use because, well, why not? The research, uh, just one block there in that case, and 216 here. And prove it? No, did they not? Let's just put that percentage on active suspension. Maybe we'll get it, or maybe we'll go for like power brakes or something. Power brakes are pretty good, so might as well try it. Right, so nothing there, all of that was used engine I'm gonna take some heat points put them over on power and one on rigidity the, uh, I'm gonna take some more heat points put them on weight and maybe one or two fuel points to be able to get a, a decent engine uh, tires ace shield yes I value resilience a whole lot I value more a tire that uh, will last a lot over a tire that has a whole bunch of grip simply because well when the cars are good enough uh, grip does help but it also increases fuel consumption so the stints get a bit longer and grip does backfire a bit at times but i do prefer resilience because uh, one stops on the offs can be pretty overpowered i don't think we're gonna do that in this episode but there it is soft tires i think that for 2006 we're gonna have even more house rules which are gonna be used on the next series I'm gonna do on Grand Prix World 2001 which is um, no soft tires it's gonna be either hard tires intermediate tires or wet tires but soft tires no that's because the AI doesn't use soft uh, soft tires I can well use them and they're pretty overpowered so to balance things out I'm just gonna use the hard tire and doesn't matter if I'm gonna one stop two stop three stop whatever uh, Marlboro, which we get, uh, we're gonna get some more with Renault. Uh, we need to start talking with Michelin, uh, Acer, Castrol. These, these are going fine. Uh, hospitality, we're talking with Michelin and Credit Suisse because they aren't exactly 100% happy. We're gonna make them happy. Probably gonna talk with Castrol. Well, Castrol is fine. Never mind, Castrol. Uh, Panasonic is gonna get the hospitality advantage, so everything will be fine over there. Right, so the Argentinian Grand Prix. We're gonna go with soft tires. We're gonna rerun the two stop or the three stop in this one because the three stop tends to work pretty well on this track. Two points in win, three points in tarmac, as uh, the, as shown in the Grand Prix World uh, Manager spreadsheet. This is the setup that I'm going with. Uh, no points in DOS or anything like that, but this should give me a bit more grip and this should uh, reduce tire consumption to a more decent amount for what we want to achieve. Let me just set this up for the qualifying session. 
it. I don't care if the engine overheats because that doesn't actually affect the car. We should be okay, so let's get in there. Of course, I missed the click. I, I was I was looking away to, to, to my phone and I didn't realize I missed the, the click. Anyway, Argentina. The pan is everyone else. You, you know everyone that is here. High wind speed, so the fact that we got some wind points might help us here, but it's perfectly fine. 24 degrees Celsius of temperature, very dry, everything is gonna be fine. Both of the guys on the soft, so we should get uh, toward the front rows. Everything should be fine there. So yeah, let's get in there. And it will be a front row lockout for Pros Grand Prix 26-0-26-2, significantly ahead of third place man Raul Schumacher. Fernando Alonso with the pole, Olivier Pan is second. Third is Raul Schumacher with David Coulthard on fourth. A physical on fifth, significant gap to his teammate. Barrichello is sixth, Montoya seventh, Verstappen eighth, Alesi ninth, with Matsakane tenth. All right, um, once again, as you can see there, the soft is extremely powerful. You know what? I should probably make some, I should probably like bring in the restriction to use just use hard tires for, uh, for this season, just so that we can suppress the soft tires overpoweredness. I'll probably do that from the next episode onwards because um, I do have to develop the hard tires. Anyway, um, here is the rest of it. Uh, Prince 11th, De La Rosa uh, 12th, Tarzan 13th, Bernoulli 14th, and here's the rest of them. For once, Jaguar doesn't completely suck. They beat one of the Jordans, but that's Tarzan Marcus, so there's your relevance. Average wind, spe uh, wind speed, overcast conditions, I think that's gonna be fine. Okay, we can work with this. For strategy, I'm gonna give Alonso a three stopper because we've seen in previous editions that the three stop seems to work well in this race, so uh, might as well try it out and let me quiet down my phone. Just uh, remember that my phone is my microphone, so let's 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 stop that just in case, so that it doesn't do like anything silly, like leave you deaf. Um, let's reduce this. Use that. Should be like 18 laps on each stint and then the final stint will be fairly short 14 laps that's that seems fine so four five six and seven are the fresh sets i'm gonna have alonso on this three stop and everything should work out for him three stops tend to be good in this track for some reason panis is gonna be rocking the one st uh, the one stop the two stop more traditional. The three stop, if memory serves, doesn't quite work here. So, should be fine. Let me check something with Alonso in a moment. It's perfectly fine. Okay. Um, two stop here, three stop here. Hopefully, it works out. I can, I have to remember. I can't use the block command. I just have to use what we have. <sighs> Let's get in there and see what happens. Safe right here. Push is a command I can actually use though. Alright. Let's see how this one turns out. Uh, not good for Alonso. Very good for Panis, but not good for Alonso. Remember, Alonso is on the three stop, so he needs... Okay, there he goes. He needs to get that move on. And I don't want to switch positions just yet because um, we're gonna get smashed by the people behind us. Now Alonso, okay, Alonso is second there. Okay, everything working fine. Let's lower that to five, 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 remove all of that, put a three here, down, put a three. Keep the defense up though. Uh, that should be fine. I'm gonna keep Alonso aggressive in terms of overtaking because he needs to move up. He's on the three stop. Let's see if he gets the move down here. He does. Okay. Things looking good. It is Alonso. Uh, was okay. It's Panis is struggling though. 
Fanny's in trouble. Okay. He had some... Yeah, he's struggling now for some reason. Increase your defending now. Okay. Defending high. We gotta keep defending high all the time. He just... He just fell off. Like, Alonso passed him and he just fell off. Anyway. It is Alonso from the Ferraris, from Fisichella and Rauschenmacher, from Panis, Barrichello, uh, Kulhar Barrichello, and Verstappen, then Montoya in eight. Panis just don't have a, doesn't have any pace. He's he's been terrible right now. I mean, of course, this is what's going to be an effect of the fact that we cannot like properly block him more using the commands because uh, that's one of the rules. Otherwise, everything's a bit easier, but. Panis, I was expecting him to have a bit more pace, and he just doesn't have it. I mean, part of it is the fact that he's on a two-stop. He is on, like, uh, 20 laps of fuel, and the AI is actually on 20 laps of fuel, because of a glitch. And, of course, Alonso is on 22 laps of fuel, but still, this is terrible. I, I, I'm sure he'll make up for it. Let's finish this lap and, and, and see how it turns out. Alonso having some decent pace, but uh, the Ferraris are faster, so that's a bit of a concern. Hani seems to have found his uh, pace. Alonso will be fine. Hani is catching. That's cool, car. He's catching cool, so it's fine. Okay, um. Five laps. Opening lap was terrible for Hani, but he seems to have settled down. Let's go ahead and see how things turn out in the future. Well, um, not much has happened. The only thing that has happened so far is that Fisichella went into the pits on uh, lap 19. We're on lap 20. He went in on lap 19. Um, for reasons unknown, I guess that he is on a three stop and that's it. But he could be on an early two stop, which uh, will be unwise. But I'm pretty sure he's on a on a three-stop strategy. It's... I mean, we're on a three-stop strategy, so I guess it is actually a fairly decent strategy. But still, it's not something that usually see the AI do. We've had some few DNFs so far. We have Bertie with hydraulics, Frenzen with a clutch, and Alacy blew his engine, so there's the people that goes. Uh, Alonso has been struggling with his tires, but I mean, he's... He's holding on just fine. He's, he has a solid fastest lap. He's coming in this lap. I want him to stretch it one more lap because he can actually do that. He can, yes. Um, yeah, put the same amount of fuel. Uh, on, the three, on the third stop, we're actually going to go shorter. Uh, just 13 laps, but... But yeah. Just, just, just keep going. Take advantage of the fact we have low fuel right now. Might as well. Also, there's some traffic in the pits, and I don't want to get into that. Also, that Ferrari was going to pit, so we will have been behind Raul Schumacher, and I definitely did not want that to happen. Montoya into the pits. We're gonna push. We're gonna have him push harder. Hannes is definitely gonna gain some time, thanks to the fact that he is on the two stop, and those guys went in very early. I'm gonna have him go one more. A bit longer. Actually, don't go longer. Stay with the strategy we have right now, and uh, we'll figure it out later. The thing is, when is David Coulthard pitting right now? That is unfortunate. We're going to lose some time for that. Where is Alonso getting overtaken by both Ferraris? Well, I thought I had, like, I, I, thought, I thought I was in a good position when both Ferraris had pitted early. But David Coulthard went and ruined everything. So this is now Panis's chance to win this race. And Alonso does definitely need to get a move on, so I'm gonna have leave his breaking high. Not that many overtaking spots in this track. One of them is the main straight. We're gonna see if Alonso can get it done. He tried, but no, the next overtaking move is this straight. Rubens very low into the pit, so he's an off factor. There he goes, okay. Another overtaking move is this straight, but it's nowhere close to anyone to be able to use it, so we'll be fine. So yeah, the only places he can overtake is here and here, so he's he has his work cut out for him, so 
that's unfortunate. Let's go ahead and see what happens to Olivier. Right, so Panis will be in this lap. Alonso doing his best to pass both Ferraris. He should get this one here. No, he does not. Can he get it somewhere else? Can he get it on this straight? I don't think he can. He's probably getting blocked, and I don't want to push for overtakes with Alonso just yet. It's not... It's a desperate situation, but I would prefer that he gets those moves done as soon as possible. Anyway, Pan is into the pits now. There he is. Gonna go behind Coulthard. Okay, he should be fine. Where is Alonso? Alonso struggling a bit. Okay, it's time to try to get that move done. And Pan is in being on the two stop means he should be fine. He definitely can get a podium here. Alonso should be winning, but you know things happen. Pit stop glitch probably should have uh, prepared Alonso to go for a normal two stop and then converting him to a standard three stop, but I didn't. Because I didn't think the, the AI would, well, beat with Alonso. Now traffic is there, but it's gonna ruin us instead of uh, Ralph. Yeah, it, it, it is truly that's ruining everything. And this is pretty close. I, I thought he was, he was gonna be a bit farther behind, but he's actually pretty close. Not bad for the guy. Has both of the Williams speed, has... Uh, Montoya beat. We definitely need to get a move on here, Alonso. He's gonna try it anyway. He might get it. He did not get it. Okay. Uh, time to go ahead to the health race report. The actual health race report will be when Alonso pits. That's when I can do a proper race report. There he goes. He got the move done. Okay. Didn't expect that to be an overtaking spot, but as it happens, it is. Anyway, cut into the future and see... What the boys can do in 10 laps time. Welcome to the health race report presented as usual by me. Uh -huh. Physical is on a three stop, like absolutely on a three stop because he went to pit a while ago, ended up behind Panis, which is good for us. Currently managing both guys through traffic. Let's leave that at five. You're gonna pit a while in a moment, so you should be. Fine in pushing the brakes. Anyway, Fizz is right now heavy with fuel. He's on a three stop and it's not working out that well for him. In the meantime, Alonso managed to get into the lead. Didn't pass Fizz on track, but did pass him due to stop. Now let's see if he manages to hold ahead of the guy. Hopefully he does. <clears throat> that will mean he's ahead of Panic, but it, it, it doesn't matter. We'll figure that out later. Anyway, um. Yeah, Alonso is leading from Raul Schumacher, David Coulthard, Oliver Panis, Giancarlo Fisichella, Juan Montoya. In he goes, just Verstappen and Rubens Barrichello. Only the top four teams are going to score points here. Alonso going to be close to Fisichella. Not ahead, but close. Did manage to make Alonso extend his stint a little bit, just so that we can uh, load a bit less fuel on Alonso's car. Alonso with the fastest lap so far, but... You know, things could be better. In terms of our strategy and stuff, the two-stop is working fairly well. So is the three-stop. The one-stop is a strategy that will not have worked well at all, which is why it was a good thing that I didn't go for that. And right now, we are going to push for overtakes. Right now, we are beating our opponent's three-stop because PC, uh, okay. Alonso not quite, but that's because he got screwed by David Fulton. But overall, Panis is ahead of Fizzy. Big win. And Alonso is on fresher tires and is going to be ahead of Fizzy after stops. Could you get past the traffic, please? Where are the blue flags? Come on. Thank you. Okay. Panis definitely needs to start catching Ralph Schumacher and David Fulton, but it's, it's, it's been difficult. Because all this traffic. Traffic is, is very annoying. Mika Salo took himself out. That's any... That's... Yeah, that's... The other relevant thing that has happened. He had been... Dang it. This traffic, man. It's it's, it's trying its best to annoy. And now they get the... The, 
they did the penalty. They should have gotten the penalty when they were blocking pan uh, panties. But no, no. And that's how we're going to get a penalty, because why not? Anyway. At times it does annoy me. <laughs> that they don't get any penalty or anything. Anyway. I should probably let Alonso through... Um, Actually, I should not, because Panis, Panis is going to pit before Alonso, so he's going to get through no matter what. I'm going to let them race. They're both at five breaking, so I'm just going to have to, I'm going to have them race as they see fit. It would be good if Panis could overtake people, though. I'm gonna let them race as they see fit. In either case, Alonso's gonna end up ahead no matter what because uh, of his three stop. He's gonna be able to extend his stint up to lap 58. Uh, in theory, Panis could also extend to lap 58, but then Alonso could probably extend to lap 59. And I'm not sure what that Jordan's doing, but not doing good things that I can guarantee you. Let's see if he can actually, Panis, I mean, get this move done here. No, he cannot, but I'm going to leave him on high braking. Maybe we can do something. <clears throat> Maybe we can close up something. Come on, man, you can do this. Well, perhaps not here, but, like, you have to do something, man. And it's just overall has struggled this race. Anyway, um... Can we win this? Possibly. Maybe I'm gonna have to let Alonso through. Or maybe Alonso finds his way through, I don't know. Uh, let's go ahead into the future and see if any anything changes in said future. Panis will be pitting in a few laps, so maybe things change by that time. Things did change because both Ralph Schumacher and uh, Giancarlo Fisicola went into the pits. They are here. There's Ralph. There's Fizzy. Now it's up to us to pin. And I'm not going to change uh, Bernaldi's uh, Bernaldi's pa uh, Panis strategy. He's going to pit on lap 56 no matter what. The only thing that I'm going to change is because of the fact he can actually go two more laps with the fuel he has. Going to have him just load up 14 laps of fuel instead of the 16 that will actually get him to the end. So he should be fine. We will see... Alonso should win this race. Like, if everything goes right, Alonso should get the win on this one. But we will see. And since we're actually here... Did a bit of accelerated time. Since we're actually here, might as well uh, see how this one plays out. This is going to be Panis. Ralph Schumacher is very fast, so this is going to be tight. We'll see how it works. In goes Panis. In goes a Minardi too. That's unfortunate, man. That's very unfortunate. Okay. So, Panis is now going to struggle to even finish second. That's... That's... Yeah. Let's see if he can actually do, like, third or something. Anyway, next lap is going to be Alonso. Let's push him. Let's have him push. One more lap. He should be able to uh, get into the lead with this little stint he's doing. He's obviously going to be ahead of Panis, but uh, we just have to wait and see because there's no one that can actually ruin this thing for him, but, you know, we've seen people getting screwed so far, so hopefully bad things don't happen. Let's remove that acceleration and that braking because you're maybe he's not going to be ahead. Alonso, no, he's not going to be, but he's going to be on much superior tires. Okay, at the very least he gets fizzy. I thought we would, I thought we would be able to beat uh, Ralph, but we couldn't for some reason. Okay, each of the guys has to beat their respective Ferraris. That's their objective they have right now. Each of the guys has to beat their respective Ferrari. They can do it. Now they just have to do it. Alonso has to catch Ralph Schumacher and pass him, and 
Hannes, who is nearly there, has to catch Fisigella and pass him. Let's see if, you know, they can actually get this done. I think one of the guys gonna get their move done. Yes, Panis does his part. He does get his Ferrari. He is now third. He's gonna get a podium. And I think I'm gonna keep him very aggressive on the brakes because, I mean, the stint is very short. These soft tires don't really last a whole lot. Well, they last enough. But he definitely needs to defend from uh, Fizzy. So I'm gonna keep his, his braking high. I need Alonso to get closer to Ralph, though, before I move his braking up. So that we can start putting the moves on him. I think this is close enough, so... Full braking ability, man. You just get that position. Also, I took down the points from Panis because I thought they were necessary now. Considering that he's now gapping Fisichella. Watch Alonso. Does he get it? Onto the lead goes Fernando Alonso, and just before the yellow flag, good. <laughs> now, there's another what if going down right now. Um, and I'm gonna boost braking, just so that maybe we see it happen. Can Oliver Panis catch... There goes Joseph Verstappen, good job. Uh, can Oliver Panis catch Ralph Schumacher? There's a chance. There they go. Can he get there? More yellow flags, so careful with the overtakes. There's no penalty when it comes to overtaking in this version of the game because the base version of the game does have um, um, penalties if you overtake on the yellow flags, but that happened to be a bit too annoying and silly, uh, mostly because of the, game, uh, of the way the game works. So that was removed and there was a little lag there. I'm not sure which where it came from, but anyway, that was removed and it's not there anymore. But anyway, uh, can Panis get there? He is doing his best, but is he best enough? Let's cut ahead and figure it out. Well, he got screwed. Panis got screwed because of that yellow Jordan over there, number 21, Tarso Marquez. Because he caught him in this area and, well, there's no overtaking spots in this area. So if you find traffic there, you're screwed. And Panis got screwed. So, yeah. Things that happened. But I'm uh, now concerned because Alonso enters his final lap, but this race is definitely not decided because he has found traffic. Don't lack, please. And in the meantime, Panis is very close to Fisichella. So Fisichella tries a move, it's gonna be it's gonna be sad. He could get it. Alonso struggling a bit because of the traffic and he cannot pass him he cannot pass them here because no overtaking spot. Just needs to get to the he just needs to get to the finish line. Fernando Alonso will win for Pros Grand Prix with Ralph Schumacher second. Oliver Panis is third. Could have been better, but ran into the traffic at the worst possible time, and yeah. And well, stuff happened, bad pit stops, just, just a bunch of stuff that wasn't exactly optimal. We could work around most of the things that happened, but uh, in the end, some things were too big effect. Like, uh, truly coming into the same lap as Panis. That 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 couldn't we couldn't we couldn't make up for that. First and third for Pros Grand Prix, it will be Fernando Alonso for the win with Ralph Schumacher second, Oliver Panis third, and um, I'm always amazed that this race is an hour fifty minutes long. Fourth, Isian Carlo Fisichella, fifth, David Coulthard, sixth, Juan Pablo Montoya, seventh, Ruben Parrichello, and eighth for Arrows, it's Kimi Raikkonen, not bad, although a lap down, but he got point, so it's fine. Here is the rest of them, as well as the people that DNF'd. Alonso now leads the World Drivers' Championship 26-22, Raul Schumacher is third with Coulthard, fourth, Parrichello, fifth, here is a tie for sixth, ninth is truly, not bad. 10th is Frensen along with Irvine. And of course, we lead the Constructors' Championship by a significant margin. I think 
We might have that one locked up. Okay. We have made money as usual. Bordeaux will stay. Everything over here is the guys complaining, it doesn't matter. Uh, engine stuff and stuff. VAP treatment. Okay, we, we're gonna use that one. Advantage. Uh, we gotta deal with Acer. I'm gonna sign that in a moment. Sonic. Licensing. I don't care about no licensing. Good. And the news. Alonso, Win, and Paul. Hannes wants to do better. He probably will in the next race. We're in position to actually run away with the constructors. Fastest lap by Alonso. Uh, Craig Polo is the least effective. Lucent Technologies sponsors McLaren. And Luca Di Montesemolo is the favorite F1 manager. I'm not sure why, but he is. Anyway, not much stuff to do here. Just signing uh, commercial people. That's sure to help us. Now, what do we do around here? Um, we sign Marlboro, of course. That one year deal. It's gonna run out next year, but we will deal with that in 2006. It's it's not a big deal. We need this customer deal with uh, Renault, but it only needs one block, so I'm gonna leave that at 16. This is something we need to start looking into right now. That one was 32 for two blocks, so I'm gonna put 32 here right away. That should give us two blocks. And this one should give us two more blocks, so we should be around here. Not sure why this thing is still lagging, but it is. Success advantage on that one as well. Sign that Acer deal. Who was it that we got the hospitality on? It will be Panasonic. And I think I'm gonna remain talking to Panasonic. In the meantime, I want to talk with Parmalat and talk to PSN. Because those are our boys and I want to resign our boys. I have to figure out how much I need to apply there. I'm gonna keep talking to Panasonic as well so that we can get the hospitality advantage and get that deal signed up pretty quickly. Over here, what can we do? We need to start working on the hard. The softs are pretty good. And from the next episode onwards, I want to stop using the soft, like bring in early that house rule that tells I can only use the hard, and use the hard. So need to work on those. This this engine is pretty good. We need to start working a bit on the weight, but we can trade some uh, heat to put it on the weight. Fuel, it's it's it's, it's fuel. Um, no, we will not progress. Uh, one of the rules is that I cannot progress until this says yes or no, and it hasn't said anything yet. Accept that, accept that, we're gonna bring that upgrade. Bring another one too, bring another brake upgrade. And can we get power brakes? No, we cannot. Let's start working on active suspension again. Let's bring that new upgrade on the brakes. And we're at the point where I go to the spreadsheet and do my calculations and stuff, and, well, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So I will come back to you in a moment after I've done my calculations for testing and commercial and all of that stuff. See you in a moment. And we are back. Uh, it's a different day from the previous day that I did this recording because I um, didn't have time to do it. I had to study for a heat transfer test that I failed on a technicality. But, you know, we're here. Let's, let's look at the positives. I can play some more Grand Prix World 2001, although I'm gonna have to take the heat transfer course again. I'm honestly not gonna learn anything new. Anyway, um, I did the testing. Here are the cars being repaired. Every single car was a bit worn, of course, because of testing. Well, we, what did we get? We get full setup, full research, full engine, and full tires, and we get a whole plane going through a round. Maybe you can hear, maybe not. Uh, the program, here it is. Now, what we're gonna do is... Oh, I hadn't done this. Fantastic, let's just use research to move some of this stuff. I'm gonna set that up in a moment. Uh, spare parts, I rebuild some of the spare parts. I already did the commercial, already distributed the percentages to um, Parmalat and PSN. So we can try and get them on board after Monaco in the next episode. We got enough spare parts. There we go. As for this, what do I do with this many points? I, of course, have to increase the weight. 
which I can do by taking two here and one here. There we go. Full power, enough rigidity. Everything should be okay. Maybe I think take one from heat and one from fuel, or actually two from heat, and put them on weight. That should help us for the 1F specification of engine. For the tires, the soft tires are already pretty good, but this is the last episode where I'm gonna use the soft tires, so look at them. Be amazed, be awed at them, but after the next, uh, on the next episode, I'm gonna introduce the house rule where I can only use the hard tires. Why don't you do it on this episode? Because they have not been developed at all. Points there, temperature, we can deal with that in future upgrades. The intermediate and wet have not been upgraded, but they're so good that it doesn't really matter at this point. And fuel, it's fuel. It's, it's, it's fine. Um, factory and so on and so forth, that is fine. But now this, I, I thought I had already done this. Uh, one moment. As it happens, I had made two mistakes. The first one is to use the research. I actually reloaded the saves so that uh, I actually didn't use any research. I already did everything else, the engine, the tires, everything has been fixed, full spares and so on and so forth. And second, I put every percentage in everywhere. So we got uh, on the design of the under tray, on the design of the new braking system, on the design of the active suspension, everything there is set up. Here, of course, Panasonic, so we can get that advantage. And here is just talking to, um, Pan uh, like I told you before, Parmalat and PSN because they are two year deals. I don't have to bother negotiating with them next year, even though this, uh, this campaign is gonna end in 2006. Um, of course, talking to Michelin because we need those work deals. Now, setting up for the San Marino Grand Prix, we're gonna bring the 1D engine specification because that's the most updated version we have. And we're gonna bring the fourth specification of the soft tire. There we go. As for the setup, two tarmac, one wind and one dust, same setup here. And we're gonna carry over two setup points for future runs, uh, for future, um, Grand Prixes, like for example, let me set this up correctly. Actually, let me set it correctly. Like for example, the Spanish or the Monaco Grand Prix, which you know will be useful for mortars. It should be good for qualifying here. So let's save the game. I don't think I have made any other mistake. So let's get in there. That reminds me, due to this break, this means I actually need to continue my uh, Need for Speed Portion Leash run. That one's, that one's pretty fun. All right, so, high wind speed conditions, uh, very dry conditions, 27 degrees temperature, everything should be fine. This one, the engine should do its best. I think it will do. So, um, I'm not planning to do a three stop or anything on this race, just a standard two stop, so I can just do standard qualifying runs on these soft tires. For both of the guys, okay, let's go. Because of course it would happen. See why I'm trying to move away from the soft tires? So it will be Fernando Alonso once again on pole position from Olivier Panis. Third is Ralph Schumacher, four tenths away from Alonso. Again, the power of the soft tire over the hard. Uh, Physically in fourth, uh, David Coulthard is now in fifth with Barrichello six, Montoya seven, Stappen eight, Kimi Raikkonen puts it on ninth. Where is where is his team? Frenzen all the way down in fourteen. Anyway, tenth is Bernoulli, and here is the rest of them. Jaguar sucking again. Oh, Jaguar man. <laughs> Okay, so we start out with average wind speed, dry, uh, very dry conditions, low temperature. That's very good. That's gonna be very good for grip and the softs. I'm going to. I was going to play it a bit risky with Alonso going for a one stop, but I think that's not a fantastic idea. I don't think that's smart.
let's just do a traditional one stop but in this case Panis is gonna go 25 laps 24 laps a bit shorter and then goes like so no, longer 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 go yeah 24 19 19 is a good set that's a uh, five, six, and seven. I didn't use star set four mostly because I only did three runs. It wasn't necessary. Alonso is gonna go 25, 44, so 19 again, and then 17, 18. Okay. Five, six, and seven with set four in there in case of emergency. Right, I think we can roll with this one. Let's do it. Let's see what we can do with this strategy. Right, so... All of the orders are up. Let's see what the guys can do. Come on, boys, don't disappoint me. Hold on to the lead, please. Bernoldi falls starts. Hanis holds on to P2. Good job, okay. We, we, we're doing fine. We open up fine. Time to start pushing them. Time to get a move on. Time to get out of here. So far it's looking good. Drop acceleration because it isn't needed. I will leave breaking up just for this lap, just so that we don't get like overtaken or anything. Hanis onto the lead now. That's unexpected. Alonso holds on to second. But now he's in trouble. This is this, this this wasn't the plan. I was thinking Alonso was gonna stay ahead, but no, no. Um, Panis dropped your braking. You don't need to like defend hard. For lap two, I'm gonna keep it up until Alonso goes on to uh, his next lap because um, I don't want him wearing out his brakes. This is a track that's heavy on the brakes for some reason. I need to see Alonso. Alonso's making mistakes. Okay, it's, it wasn't Alonso making a mistake. It was Ralph. Busy. Okay. okay. So we are entering lap three. This is the time where I do this so that it doesn't burn everything. Okay, we go. Pan is in the lead. Alonso second. Maybe Pan is can win this race. Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. This is the first track mode. Well, actually, Brazil was the first one. This is one of the first tracks where the AI can ruin us by doing a one-stop strategy. We could try to do it, but our pace in the one-stop is just terrible. So it's not the recommended strategy. It seems like we are fine for now. Fizzy is plenty fast. I will increase uh, Alonso's braking in a moment as Fizzy gets closer so that he doesn't get overtaken, but our pace seems fine. Fizzy is the threat, but uh, to, start, to start things off, Anis looks strong. Alonso seems to be having an off day, which, you know, it'll happen. Very good opening so far. Let's uh, finish the slap and then I'll cut the recording and go on to the future. He's there, okay. Enough. Three. That should be enough to defend against pretty much anyone. The only problem is that Alonso is the guy I had going on the longer stint. So him defending isn't... It wasn't in my book. It wasn't in my cards. But we'll, we'll figure it out. We have completed 10 laps and it seems clear that we're in trouble because Alonso... Fought hard with PC. I even increased his orders to 5 after going to the spreadsheet and figuring out he could make 25 laps. We fight in breaking without that much loss of performance and well, PC still went through. Which means he's now hunting down Panis I'm gonna have to increase Panis's orders in a bit while uh, PC gets here. Let me drop that because uh, uh, Alonso is not engaged to anyone at this moment, so, so we don't need to have high breaking since he's not fighting anyone. But Panis will be fighting Fisichella in a moment, there's some action back there in that group that... How? How is... Uh, 
don't question it. Don't question it. If it happened, it happened. It's, it, there's people trapped behind the Jaguar. I don't know how, but it has happened. Let's increase this to 5 now and increase this to 5 because PC is there and could try to attack. Uh, let me drop it. Okay, now we go. Now we go. Now we go. Oh, it's it's wrap. Okay, I thought it was PC. No, it's just wrap. Okay. Speaking of stuff, Alonso is also under pressure for PC now, so... Yeah, I don't think... We might, actually. We might still do it, but I don't think we're winning this race, boys. I don't think it'll happen. Oh, we will see. There he goes. Yeah, we're not winning this race anymore. Not anymore. Okay, drop that so that you save your tires a bit more. Now increase it again. And Alonso, just do your best. <laughs> do your best. See if you can get that position back from Fizzy. I don't think you can, but might as well try. No, you cannot. Okay. Um. Yeah, we desperately need an upgrade because even though we are qualifying really well, that is not due to our car being really fast. That's because we uh, have sub tires. Our car is actually like fourth best. Like I know after Australia, after Australia, after Argentina, uh, at Argentina we were like fourth best still, with Ferrari being plenty ahead. But uh, I'm not sure what it is here in San Marino. I'm probably putting up the performance chart in like the bottom right, uh, top right. There goes Alonso losing that position. So yeah, we aren't that fast. That will change, and we will demonstrate that more as. We use the hard tires, how fast we actually are. But right now we aren't we aren't that fast. Let, let that sink in. We're actually not that fast. We have plenty of wins, but that's mostly on strategy and soft tires. Well, if there's some sort of consolation prize is that uh, we're going a long Brown Schumacher and pretty much everyone else that could offend us have beat already. Well, not quite everyone, because the Williams are here. Rubens and Verstappen, they are right here. But we're going to work on a, on an overcut since we, we still have grip, we still have plenty tire performance to give, so we can work on an overcut on pretty much everyone. The only problem is that number seven there, Rubens, pulled uh, unless proven otherwise, could be on a one-stop strategy. And uh, the fact that Ralph is there tells me that even if he, they are, even if Rubens is on a one-stop, they should not be a threat. I, I was gonna, well, they in the Williams, but uh, just this happened Peter a while ago. Um, Rubens shouldn't be a threat, but the fact that he might be on a one-stop, it's something to keep in the back of our heads. Right, time for stop. First things first, we have Hannes or Paul, uh, not or Paul Sitter, but the guy that has been faster so far this race. He's gonna bring, he's gonna, he's gonna come in first, there he goes. Next is gonna be Alonso after this, um, in this lap. I need to see who has DNF so far. So Panis is gonna be ahead of Ralph Schumacher, so at the very least we have that. No need to break hard or aggressively because we are not racing anyone at this point. Alonso, he should also be ahead of Ra I think he's going to be behind. I think he's going to be behind Ralph Schumacher. The overcut is good, but I don't think it's that good. But we will see. We will see. In goes Alonso. Hopefully Rubens doesn't go out. Uh, definitely some, some bumper car action happened. Right behind. Okay, we're gonna keep that at five because you know, gotta try. Okay, uh, Weber beat it himself, and Montoya got taken out by Pedro de la Rosa, who tried to unlap himself, I suppose. Because de la Rosa was one of those cars, if memory serves, stuck behind that Jaguar, so that's the only explanation. I don't, I don't have any other explanation for you. I'm not sure what de la Rosa was doing, but. It happened. Now, can Alonso get rid of uh, Ralph? Uh, only time will tell, but it would be beneficial for our purposes if he could. 
He does. He does successfully, okay. Panic. Uh, there's no reason to panic anymore. We might actually win this race because uh, on fresh subs, we do have pace, but as the race goes along, uh, the subs remember that they're subs and we're out. So it will be fine. Don't worry about it. Everything will work out. Uh, in the meantime, actually, let's wait a bit until the actual health fresh report. Just, just stand by. All right, I have waited long enough, and that wait was for Ruben Spark a little bit. Welcome to the Half Race Report presented by Cross Grand Prix, I suppose. We're in the lead of the San Marino Grand Prix. Hannes is, is winning this race. From Ralph Schumacher, Ruben Spark in fourth is doing the one stop, and we're trying to make a massive overcut on him. Uh, we don't know if it's gonna work because we're dealing with traffic. Uh, Rubens is heavy, but the other issue we have is this man right here, Ralph Schumacher, who is doing his best to interfere with um, <clears throat> Fernando Alonso, and he's succeeding. It also doesn't help us that there's a whole bunch of traffic, and Rubens is... Uh, Rubens. Ralph is doing his best to pass us with that traffic, and he's actually succeeding at that, and that's slowing us down from running away from Rubens over here. We are faster than Ralph Schumacher at this current point in time. But the traffic has not let us show that. We'll, we'll eventually get to all of the traffic. Like, we're actually through all of the traffic and Alonso has now gone ahead. But it has slowed us down. Anyway, Han is from Alonso, from Rubens, uh, from Ralph. Uh, Rubens is in the net lead of this race if things hold as is because he has much, much. Uh, he doesn't have to stop again. He doesn't have much more pace. He only doesn't have to stop again. Uh, David Coulthard is not a threat. Physical is not a threat. Verstappen is not a threat. Raikkonen is also one stop. And if I saw things correctly, uh, let me double confirm that. Uh, Raikkonen needs to stop. And okay. So yeah, conditions are good for a plus one two, but uh, Ralph Schumacher could interfere. He's doing his best to interfere. And Rubens Barrichello is a big threat because he could uh, steal the win from us. And that will be very sad. 18 should work. Okay, one more, 17, and 18. Okay, it's fine. That is fine. At times it glitches and doesn't show you exactly how many laps you need, but uh, we'll figure it out. Alonso might end up winning this particular race because his pace has increased for the last few couple of laps. Like in the middle scene, he's actually become uh, significantly faster. Enough to catch up with Hannes. We'll see if he can actually do his part and win this race. It doesn't help that Hannes has traffic right now and the traffic's been annoying all race long. But at the very least we got that, uh, got that done. I think Rubens is going to be ahead of us uh, after the stop, so we're going to have to chase him down after we stop. Anyway, this has been the Half Race Report presented by Pros Grand Prix and, I don't know, Parmalat and PSN and whatnot. And I will come back to you when we have to do stops. Right, so pit stop cycle time. First is <clears throat> Panis. We don't lap 44, I hope. Dang it. I was hoping no one else beat, but that Sauber did. No, that Sauber did not. Anyway, right close to Ruben, so we absolutely got him. Next is Alonso. Let's see what Alonso can do. And I hope no one else beats with uh, Alonso. There we go, Panis into the net lead so far. Alonso's in the actual lead. Okay, Alonso may actually come out in the lead of this race, but that will be depending on what Ralph Schumacher does. Alonso is not going to come out in the lead. Because he's going to get pit stop glitched by someone ahead of us. There he goes. And he comes out fourth. Behind Ralph, but he should be able to get the position back. We should be okay. 
stop stop lagging please anyway um alonso should as soon as the subs uh uh how do i put it as soon as the subs come into effect which is okay maybe before the subs come to effect the subs come into effect after you do a lap with them so now alonso's subs have come into effect compared to ralph's hearts now alonso is a bit faster than ralph uh, he's still definitely faster than Rubens, so he should have no issue overtaking Rubens Barrichello. Um, I'm gonna stay here for a while. I want to see the overtake done. And I want you guys to see overtake as well, because we might actually get a 1-2 finish in this race. We haven't had 1-2 finishes in this race, uh, in this, uh, season at all. It's just been 1-3s. Alonso does fail that overtake, so we're... We're gonna be stuck here for a while. This is unexpected. If this rain does stay here, Ralph is gonna win the race. Because Ralph is <clears throat> is he? I always forget. Anyway, Ralph is pretty good, Alonso is not that good. Dang it, traffic. Traffic is just annoying in this in this particular session. Anyway. Drop that, drop that, drop that. You don't need you don't need to push the brake. Maybe you do need to push the brakes, okay. <laughs> okay, Alonso back to third. Can we actually pass Rubens? This bike this bike is, is extending. Most most of the reason why it is extending is because Ralph just doesn't want to give up. It's it's like he's still there. You know what? These stars don't need to last at these things. Come on. Yes, finally. 1-2 for Pro's Grand Prix. Ralph tried his best, but it did not work. And now we need to hurry up because this rain, this rain could ruin everything. At least it's just light rain, so it's like not massive. It's not gonna rapidly change the weather conditions, the, the track conditions, but we're already in dry, so this this needs to hurry up. Panis needs to hurry up, and if <clears throat> we need to pit, which it likely we likely need to pit because Ralph is there and he's gonna keep pushing. If we need to pit, I think I have to bring Alonso first because Panis is decent in the wet. Alonso is much is it's worse, so we need to defend Alonso from Ralph. It might not be smart. But it might be what we need to do. It it definitely has to be that way. Hopefully it doesn't come down to that. Good news and bad news. The good news, we have a whole bunch of cleaner ahead of us. No more traffic until the end of the race. So that's fine. The bad news. Trip with them, track temperature low. Track dryness three. And there's only three laps to go in the race, so there's no time to go pit for intermediates and, and recover the position. There's no time for that. So if it does switch to them, we are going to have to tough it out. We're going to have to survive it. Hannes will. He will be fine. My worry is Alonso. Alonso is going to have to boost his braking to the max to be able to survive, which we have enough brake durability to do that, but... Um, yeah, two laps to go. I think I'm gonna have you see these laps with me. Again, Ralph Schumacher is pretty good in the wet, and Alonso is not that great, so... If he does switch to wet, it's gonna be a panicky final lap, to say the least. It is possible, and if it doesn't, we just get to celebrate or want to finish, so... Okay, final lap, or first did not come to pass, everything is fine. Everyone is alive, nothing bad happened. Right, so finally, for the first time this season, we have dominated everything, let's be honest. Thanks to the software, that's why I'm not gonna use them anymore. But we hadn't had a one to finish this season, that's gonna change with Olivier Panis. Winning the San Marino Grand Prix with Fernando Alonso second. 
excellent result for us. Third place will be Ralph Schumacher. They Ferrari need to figure out something to be able to beat us. Fourth is Rubens Barrichello, who did manage to get the one stop to work. Absolute great job for them. We're gonna see the final result, but as for us, perfect result. One, two, we hadn't had that one of those since forever. I love this. I love this particular result. Uh, can we repeat it without the soft tires? Good question, but for now, let's let's celebrate this result. She got a bit laggy there. Anyway, Pan is from Alonso. Excellent result. Raul Schumacher is third, Ruben Sarkello fourth, Physical is fifth, with David Coulthard sixth, Verstappen seventh, that's everyone in the lead lap, Raikkonen is eighth on the one stop. Uh, Ninth, friends and tenth, Alessi, and here is the rest of them. Bunch of DNF, Marquez pinned it, Bernaldi had a gearbox issue, and Salo with a hydraulics failure. Alonso is still in the lead because he finished second instead of third. Panis is still second, Raul Schumacher is still third, so Schumacher is still a threat. He could, mathematically speaking, take the lead of the championship if we had a double DNF and he won the race. Unlikely, but possible. In the constructors, we are dominating everything. No one can catch us at this point in time. Now, what do we have here? Two wins apiece. Alonso with three pole positions to his name. Where did we miss out on pole? I, I, I don't remember. Was it Australia? It was Australia. By how much? By plenty. <laughs> okay, um, I guess we used hard tires on this one. We still managed to win it, but I guess we used hard tires on this one and did it did show our actual pace, but in every other qualifying session, tough tire is overpowered. Anyway, made two million in profits, start working in engineering, that's pretty good. Research testing, don't worry, we will use it. Everything fine here. FI regulations mean our new chassis design is legal for next year. That means, let's do that right away. Accept that, uh, accept that, accept that, and accept, don't accept that, but take every every single point out of there. One, and my current designer is up, okay, so we can actually get up to five here. I'm gonna save the game right away, and I'm actually gonna do that between sessions so that I don't blow it. Okay, everything fine. Uh, keep checking. Uh, upgrades, of course. R&D, st stop complaining, TB advantage, VAP advantage, partner deals and so on and so forth, everything is working out fine, I don't care about licensing, wins, results don't get better than this, Anis has another win, Pros has completed team sponsorship with Marlboro, we cross the opposition, we're running away the championship, Panis expects to lead. I don't know, man. Alonso is pretty good. Uh, okay. Everything fine. I do not know why we are not the top manager. We are the second best manager in Formula 1 currently. This is usually pretty rare. I'm usually like 6 or 7 until the, the, <laughs> the championship decider. But, I mean, stuff that happens. Let's sign that rail deal and take some percentage off of it uh let's keep just that tp advantage and just leave 19 percent here so that we guarantee that deal uh, where else we need to work on panasonic and we might as well use that and where else do we need to work on not fiat probably hsbc Petronas, let's 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 call Petronas. Let's let's make them a bit happy. Petronas, there we go. Uh, Michelin and sorry, great. Actually, Renault. Is... Renault will be fine. Don't worry. Uh... The needle didn't move in Armalac. That's concern. I'm gonna put seventeen percent down. Um, most of this stuff I can deal with in future in the future episodes. So it's fine. And our new hard tires for the Spanish Grand Prix are ready. I need to make a set for Monaco as well. 
I think that will be it. Let me just prepare uh, some break reliability upgrades. And I think we're done. Yeah, so. Pretty good episode, this one. After taking that bit of a... Uh, taking that break, let me get some more commercial managers and whatever. Took that break, came back, and... Pretty solid episode. But I... I wonder if we'll be able to keep the momentum up, considering we will stop using the soft tire and we'll use the hard tire. Again, we're not the fastest team in Formula 1. We're pretty fast, but not that fast. So I hope we can actually keep that momentum going into the next races. Anyway, that's it for me. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, the usual YouTuber stuff, you know what it is. You're pretty smart. You, you know what, what you want to do. Anyway, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you on the next episode.